we are taking mcqs multiple choice questions on library science and automation dash is an important record of books which shows the position of any book on the shelves so in the shelves whenever you go to the library you'll find there is a proper list that which book is where so that name is shelf list it is regarded as shelf list la is the library association of no this library association exists everywhere but specifically la if we talk about it belongs to the great britain that is the england what we call fair use is the norm for determining the legality of so you know if you have a book and you say i am using it fairly how to determine whether it is legal non legal so the because you know making a book requires people who write there are people who publish and there are so many people distribution distribution publisher etc so the fair use is the norm for determining the legality of photocopying an entire book entire book if you photocopy that is as good as the previous book okay but whether it is uh, it comes under fair use or not whether it is legal or not that is the question being asked here dash is a process of helping employees in an organization to acquire new skills and competence on a continuing basis so the see if uh, you see the first option it is total quality management quality is very important here because quality uh, the discussion or the definition is varied that is there are certain norms certain factors certain laid down rules which a product follows then it shows the quality or simply if the user likes it user is satisfied by using that stuff or the product the quality is there but along with this in order to create or give quality to any product any anything we need the people who are actually building or manufacturing or making that product should be skilled should be competent enough and their skill and competence should be enhanced emancipated on continuous basis total quality man quality management on which of the following technologies semantic web is not based the answer is cloud seeding first of all there are certain things which need we need to discuss here because this is uh, much related to computer science first is it is not based which of the following technology is semantic web is not based semantic web means what internet www hypertext this all comes under web semantic we are talking about the syntax context word grammar all these so it is not based on cloud seeding rdf ontologies are there what are three types of basic languages used in computer programming uh there are three levels of for programming first of all the english like language is called high level language for example c c++ java and python and c sharp there are so many of them then comes the assembly language that is quite related to the microprocessor and most of the operating system are written in assembly language then both of these language uh, they convert into the machine language that is 0110 because computer only knows it is digital it only knows 01 nothing else so the answer here is machine assembly and high level languages to bol basic and prolog they were they were languages uh, you know long back in 1990s etc but we are talking about those languages Uh, three types of basic languages here when cd rom was prepared and made see this was a path breaking event when the compact disc 
read only memory was uh, created because at that time and today also the computer and the hardware especially the IT hardware industry was at boom because people were thrilled they were using it so in order to because previously we were having floppy etc now then came the CD-ROM CD-ROM can have a lot of data like 700 700 MB data then we have the you know different blu-ray disc which has 4.8 7.2 GB of data but we are talking about when it was being uh, you know prepared and made because it was long back as I said 1985 the compact disc read only memory uh, because we are talking about 2022-23 now and this is ob almost obsolete. What is a bug? There are words which will always come if you are in software industry and software testing. Bug, defect, error. Problem. Normally, you know, we call it as oh, the 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 code is not working or the code has crashed. This is all because the error in a program. When a programmer programs, if there is problem, that is, it is not working as intended. There is a bug. There is a problem. So software testing is done. As the result of software testing, certain bugs are revealed. And then debugging is done in order to fix those bugs. ISO 9960 is related with International Organization for Standardization 9960 is related with standard for encoding data on compact disk read-only memory CD-ROM. See, in CD or in DVD, in uh, various laser readable disk the, the data is fixed encoded in the form of pits pits you know a, a very short uh, you can say a whole very micro level that is how zero one is created so the standard for encoding is this one information retrieval is fastest from information ret retrieval is extraction retrieval of the actual content information is fastest from where? Floppy disk 1.44, you know, MB, very slow. Magnetic tape, it can hold a lot of data, but again, very slow because uh, it is sequential. Hard disk has platters, it has, uh, you know, some disks one over another, and that platter fix on that particular sector. So it gives a uh, quite a fastest information retrieval as compared to others but these are all you know uh, obsolete technology right now we have the ssds the solid state device that is previously the read re, uh, the ram and the cache memory they're all semiconductor memories but now we have hard disk also as a semiconductor memory that is why the the when you open your systems now operating system loads in no time that is because you have ssd now so information retrieval in this case, in this particular question, the answer should be hard disk. But if you have SSD, that should be given the preference. The CD alphabets in CDS and ISIS stands for. The CD is computerized documentation. It's not the compact disk, it is computerized documentation. And ISIS, if you are from library, Science and Automation, I want you to give the answer. Please, uh, you know, comment on this. What is ISIS? Please, please uh, give this. What is the acronym stands for? I'm expecting it from you. Following is not a social bookmarking site. What happens when you actually read a book? You generally start reading and then you when you're done for the day, you put a bookmark. So when you come the next day, you know from where to start, where uh, where you left. In the social, uh, you know, sites, you also have this bookmarking facility. And this is what the question is all about. So following is a not a social bookmarking site. The answer is Squidoo. The answer is C. C. We are on web. We are talking about websites uh, providing the social bookmarking. Dig is there, Delicious is there, Squidoo is not there. 
Following is not a web 2.02. So when web came, you can call it as web, internet. It was web, web 1.0. So the JavaScript was there, HTML was there. But the different technologies like jQuery and various others like uh, blog, Facebook, RSS feeds were not there. Then came Fed Web 2.0 which included all these with the enhanced technology because now the web pages can play audio, video, good speed like YouTube. You can see YouTube playing a very good, uh, is a very good way to interact with videos. So UGC Infonet 2.0 is not a web 2.0 tool. Which type of protocol is used by interface for PDN, public data network? First of all, a data store repository and public means the public can access it. Network is it, the public can access it through network. That is called a PDN. So there's certain protocol that is the agreed upon rules and regulation that two party follow in order to communicate. So that is called the protocol. So when we talk about PDN or a public data network, the protocol being used is a x.25. The answer is A here. Resource sharing is a part of resource sharing. See, I have a book, book one. You also have a book, book two. So is it is it good that you also buy a book one, book two? I also buy a book one, book two. Why not to you know share them? That is, I have B1, you also have B2, then I can also read B2, you can also read B1. So this is called a sharing. So this is called library cooperation. A is the answer. So resource sharing is a part of library cooperation. What is APS? Now you will be tempted to write none of the above. But if you, you know, literally pronounce or say APS, that is, a full text resource APS. So this is a kind of pronunciation that comes. So that is how we write. We don't write A F a T E R like this. That's better. It's APS and that is called as a full text e resource. One of the following is not open source or software. First of all, what is an open source software? Any software is coded, it is being programmed in certain programming language. Now, if this programming language is the, if this code is open to you, that is called open source software. But if a proprietary, uh, you know, company has made it and it is providing the software on the cost basis, so they don't reveal the code. That is the, that is the main thing they hold. So if the code is public, there are various like Linux and like, uh, you know, green store, deep space, they are, or they all have the sources open. But do you, know, do you think that Microsoft Windows uh, code is open to us? Can we change it? Can we see it? No, Windows. So the answer is Windows. Windows has a closed uh, source. It is a closed source proprietary software. Others are not. But today the era is for the open source software. WorldCat is maintained by the answer is Online Computer Library Center. WorldCat is maintained by this one. Annual convention of InfliBnet organized to discuss the progress of the library automation and library services is known as Annual Convention. So people meet annually and they discuss what all is the progress in terms of in the field of library automation and the services in the library. The answer is Calibre, Calibre, C is the answer. Dublin Core Metadata, this consists of, so how many elements actually being asked? The answer is B here, 15 elements, 15 elements. Okay guys, these were some MCQs. If you like it, then we can make more. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.